So one of the strategies that we've been learning for division has been partial quotients. And let's look at that one right now. To do partial quotients for a problem, let's say we're doing a problem like um, 352 divided by 6. What we ask ourselves is we say, how many times do we know that 6 can go into 352? Well, here's where our zero strategies and our knowledge of multiples comes into play. Now, I know that 6 times 100 would be 600. That's too big. Um, I know that 6 times 10 would be 60. So I could, I, I could do 6 times 10. Um, let's see. I also know that 6 times 5 is 30. So that means that 6 times 50 must be 300. So I'm going to put a 50 right here. And then 50 times 6 is 300. So 300 goes below 352. And we subtract. 352 take away 300 leaves us with 52. So now i got to ask myself, how many times can 6 go into 52? Now, 6 times 10 is 60, so that's too big. So let's work backwards with our multiples of 6. Um, 6 times 9 would be 54, and we know that 6 times 8 is 48. So let's put an 8 right here. 8 times 6 is 48. Put our 48 below, and we subtract. 52 minus 48. 2 minus 8 can't do that, so we um, borrow over from the 5, make that a 4. This now becomes a 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. 6 can't go into 4, so we're left with that as a remainder. This here on the side is what we call our partial quotients, so we add them up. 352 divided by 6 gives us 58 with a remainder of 4.